All right, so configuring the blog layout um, is not too difficult. By default, you'd have uh, your, your blog post set out as rows. So there's uh, basically one column per, uh, per item. And so uh, we have here, we have a couple of posts with uh, featured images and then a few that have no images associated with them. Now we can configure the, the layout um, so that, for example, we'll just go here and change it so that the image size is medium. We'll hit update. And we'll reload. There we go. That's a medium. And then what if we wanted to make the image size small? We'll update that again and then make it small. So that's with the small image. But often you want to have a little bit more style to your blog as well. And uh, so we've also enabled what we call a grid layout. It's actually using a, a masonry style of display. And um, so we're going to go with three columns and we're going to lead with a full post. Okay, let that save. What we're going to do is we're going to have a full post up top, and then we're going to have masonry down below here. And so how masonry works is it very much like if you've ever seen uh, um, Pinterest. Basically, uh, posts will filter into the right, you know, so that everything fits. And um, so we can go and change this even more. Um, we can we can change it so that say we just want two columns. And uh, update. Okay. So that's what a two column would look like. And again, most of these are, are very similar in height. But depending upon the image that you provide and the aspect ratio of that image, some of these can vary in height and also um, you know, vary in size for how much text you're providing, right? We can also configure the system so that uh, we can choose to have the metadata which is the author name, the, the post date, the comment status, the tags, and the categories show below the content. So we'll just update that and we'll just show you what that looks like as well. So we're going to move this and it's going to pop down below once we the page saves. And that now posts, pops down below here. If you're not logged in, then this edit option is going to disappear. But as I am logged in, that's that's showing up there. Comments are off and it's only showing up in the uncategorized category. And admin, and now if we hover over top of this, oh, if I, I had a what's called a gravatar image, um, it will show me my, my image and it also tells me when my account was created and how many posts I've got. Okay. Um, apart from that, I mean you can configure what you want to show Perhaps you don't want to show your categories. Perhaps you don't want to show your tags. Perhaps you don't want to show your comment status. Just want to show the date and the author, and that's perfectly viable as well. As you can see, it's just it's truncated this quite a bit. Now the features that we have in the in the blog layout uh, as you know, upon initial launch is pretty much what you're looking at here. Um, we can go and enable an arrow for the uh, the read more link here. That's more or less all there is to the the blog layout and configuring it. You're probably going to use either a row layout or a grid layout as you see here. Of course it's it's up to you how you want to proceed with that.